Yo, what's up guys? It's Mr. Porsche here and today I have another video for you. And I am back. I haven't been making videos for a long time, but I'm back. And school's almost over, you know? So when it's over, I'm gonna be making a lot of videos, so. Yeah, and today I am back with a new magic trick with a deck of cards. A card, say so you picked this one. So this is your card. The two of hearts, right? Yeah. I don't really know what it is now. Crack my neck. Um, but. I'm, you're not supposed to know when they teach you this trick. Like, I'm not. You're not supposed to know when you do this trick to people. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put your card in the middle of the deck. See? No, I'm just gonna push it. Now, I'm gonna find your card with my hands behind my back. Now. Done. Not the ten of hearts, but your card is going to show itself. Because as you can see, there is going to be one face down card in the deck. That one face up card is your card. The two of hearts. But yeah, two of hearts, your card. Now, for the explanation. Um, so, for this trick, you are going to need to set up, you are going to need this face, the, the bottom card face down, like that, and then what you're going to do is have it normal first, and make sure there's one face down card in the bottom. So tell them to pick a card, and let's say they pick this card, which in this case is the three of spades. Now, as they're doing that, what you want to do turn around the deck yeah, so it still looks like that it's still just a normal deck and what you're going to do is just put that card, take the card and put it in the middle of the deck and as you can see look I'll take the part off we're putting it in the opposite way right so that means it's going to be face up now then you're going to say you're going to find the card with your hands behind your back. So what you're gonna do is your hands behind your back. All you're gonna do is flip over that card and just ruffle the deck. That's what I did. Make it more having more suspense now. So you're gonna say it's not the two of hearts. Spread out the deck. And find a one face down card and say there is as you can see there is only one face down card in the deck and that one face down card is your card three spades now it's only been four minutes why not show you another trick so just let me show you the deck So, no, what you're gonna do is tell me to stop. You know, but like, this is the camera, so, yeah. So you said stop there. This is your card, King of Spades, okay? Nah. So now I'm gonna shuffle the deck as so many times as, as I want. Yeah, I'm 
just gonna show for once now. I'm gonna pick a card out of the deck. Just wait, no. Uh, I'm guessing your card was a red card. I mean, a black card, actually. I'm guessing your card was a black card, right? So I am going to find two black cards. There. No. Pick any of them. This one? Okay. Now, there's one black card left. Not black card. Is a good card. Okay, in spades. Now, the trick is done like this. So, you're gonna have, usually, before the trick, you're gonna have to know what card is on the bottom, right? So, what you're gonna do is tell them is peel just parts of, on off the top of the deck, right? And let's say they say stop here, right? Just show the bottom card. You're gonna know that card. You're gonna know it because you looked at it before the trick. Their card would be the Eight of Clubs. Now you're gonna take the part that you peeled off and put it on the bottom so that Eight of Clubs is lost in the middle. So they know that. Now you could shuffle as many times. You already know the card, so the trick is pretty much over. But you know, we wanna make it more suspenseful. why uh, I, I'm not just going to pick their card out of the deck. I get two cards, right? So, shuffle it a few times so they think their card is definitely lost somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Now you're going to say, so let's say the bottom card was black card, which mine was. You have to know that if it was black or red. You have to pick out their black card first, so let's find the Eight of Clubs somewhere in the deck. Eight. Here's the Eight of Clubs, put that down, so that's one black card. Just pick out any other black card that you find. Now you don't need the rest of the deck anymore. You just need those two cards. Now, you tell them to pick any one of them. You're going to have to remember which one was their card. It was the Queen of Clubs. It was the Eight of Clubs. Eight of Clubs is yours. So you have to remember that Eight of Clubs is in your left hand. And then you have to tell them to pick one of the cards. If they pick the Queen of Clubs, which is the one that's not the card, the Queen of Clubs down. And if they pick the Eight of Clubs, the one that is their card, then you just still put the Queen of Clubs down. Because let's say they pick that to keep it, right? So yeah. I'm just going to say pick the Queen of Clubs, so I'm going to put the... I'm, no, I'm going to say put the, pick the Eight of Clubs, so I'm still just going to put the Eight of Clubs, the Queen of Clubs down. Now, you're going to find your card. Three. This, this is one black card, and hopefully it's your card. it over and showing it and ask is that your card but yeah so that's how you do that magic trick so yeah those are two magic tricks that you can learn really quick so please rate comment subscribe and bye